Okay, I just wanted to uh, show you guys a, a technique that um, I think will yield some pretty interesting results uh, fairly easily. Uh, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, do something like the morph thing but with meshes. And so what I've done here is I've taken this mesh and I've tiled this mesh across it. Uh, and that gives me this mesh right here. And then I've taken the same mesh, uh, this one over here, and tiled it with uh, this pyramid and got, and uh, the results are this mesh right here. Um, I baked them both out and then I added a few more Catmull Clark uh, uh, divisions on it. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've how I how I do it. Um, basically, I just put a cluster together that uh, uh, takes in a mesh, and then it does Weaver Bird offset by some height. And so now we have two meshes, and uh, I just make a, a surface from each of the mesh faces, and these surfaces correspond to each other. So I can then uh, make a blend box from that and uh, just use the morph component inside the transform right there. And so you can pass in any geometry. I have just been using meshes, um, but it doesn't really matter. You can use whatever you want. So that's basically all there is to it. Uh, these, uh, these meshes that I've used are not really that interesting, but can kind of... Uh, demonstrate uh, the component. Uh, over here I just um, so I just added Catmull Clark to this one to get that one and then I uh, scaled this up. This is just a small section of that and uh, then I retiled it um, from the first component. Uh, I tiled this from the the first component to get this and so it's kind of uh, a little bit more uh, interesting shape out of it and then I just uh, added a few Catmull Clarks to this one right here so um, yeah it's just basically that's pretty much all, all there is to it uh, in the future I don't know I don't know how to do uh, triangles um, maybe have set two sets of uh, tiles and uh, efficiency uh, I've I've been I don't know how efficient it is. It's been pretty consistent, uh, and has worked with uh, quite a few meshes that I've put into it as long as the normals are unified. Um, and then non-uniform thickness. Uh, I'd like to be able to control the thickness of these, and uh, that just involves going in and uh, thinking more about instead of having Weaver Bird offset, uh, thinking about um, how to affect the mesh so the second mesh out isn't uniformly thick or uh, offset uniformly so but uh, yeah so that's that's pretty much it